Fox News Alert now. It's just a few hours. Our next guest will demand that the DOJ investigate several Obama-era officials, Hillary Clinton, James Comey, for possible crimes. Now, GOP Congressman Ron DeSantis joins us. Uh, he's on the House Judiciary Committee. Uh, he talks about the exclusive details. So what's in this referral? You actually break it down very simply. you got some big-time questions and statements. For example, former FBI Director James Comey, his recommendation to draft a letter in the spring before the July sit-down with Hillary Clinton not to press any legal charges because intent was already found out. Well, that's right, Brian. And remember, he testified to the Congress that he did not make any decision regarding Secretary Clinton until after she was interviewed. He was asked that specifically by one of my colleagues, and yet the evidence that's come out since then demonstrates that actually they made this determination months before not only interviewing Secretary Clinton, but also interviewing a number of key witnesses. And so the lack of candor with the Congress uh, is something that needs to be investigated. Yeah, he had Sally Yates begin to draft a letter uh, in May. He didn't sit down with Hillary Clinton, not him, but Peter Strzok was one of the people sit down with Hillary Clinton in July. Unbelievable. Former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton, for disguising payments to Fusion GPS on mandatory disclosures to the federal election, how did she list it? So here's the issue. I mean, you notice they're supposedly going after Michael Cohen for an FEC violation because of this non-disclosure payment. Now, that's not really a theory that's been, that's been tried before. I mean, it seems a little odd to me. But if that is potentially an offense, well, isn't camouflaging these payments? What they did was they paid from the Clinton campaign to a, a law firm, Perkins Coey. And then Perkins Coey uh, paid Fusion GPS, Christopher Steele, and that's how the dossier was developed. So they effectively disguised the fact that they were funding the dossier. That's not the way right. the federal election laws are supposed to work. You're supposed to disclose your expenditure. So if you're going after Cohen, why isn't anybody also looking at how the Clintons handled this? And what about Attorney General Loretta Lynch? Man, she has a lot of questions trying to get out ahead of the James Comey book. But your main concern is her. Her focus on her decision to threaten the reprisal of the former FBI informant who tried to come forward with the Uranium One deal. He testified to in front of the Congress uh, in the committees that, that he was threatened by Lynch's Justice Department. Uh, we think that's a serious issue, and we think it deserves further investigation. Andy McCabe, for multiple things. We know he, he lied, uh, according to the uh, IG report, four separate times. You have a different question. You want AG says to say that during the internal, uh, during the internal uh, Clinton investigation, McCabe black candor, including candor under oath. That's already been found out, but you want to pursue something legally. So here's the issue, Brian. If they're going to go after people like Michael Flynn for a false statement to the FBI on really a, a tangential fact that wasn't material to any criminal offenses, but yet you have the deputy director. Remember, he initiated the investigation of, of Mike Flynn. You right. have the deputy director lying under oath. Is there going to be a, a similar right. case brought against him, or do we have two different sets of rules for people? Peter Strzok and Lisa Page still on the job. It was Strzok to talk to Flynn. It was Strzok to talk to Hillary Clinton. You have problems with him, not only that he's full-time employed, uh, but he has, uh, he's got some uh, questions to answer. Well, if you look at those text messages, it raises a lot of alarming things, one of which is obstruction of a congressional investigation. He said, well, we don't want to provide all the 302s. That'll be explosive to Congress. So they're basically going back and forth acknowledging uh, that they're not fully complying with Congress. So we need to look at that and obviously a host of other issues that came out of these text messages. There are more in your referral. It is very specific. And now there's some talk about the DOJ and FBI coordinating uh, their response, which is problematic. Ron DeSantis, uh, this is getting more complex, uh, but we got to get to the bottom of it. Thanks so much.